what is up you guys it is parker here with deco exchange y'all we've got another great tutorial out today and i just wanted to remind you guys to subscribe to our channel like the video down below and at the very least y'all leave us a comment and let us know what you think hope you enjoy so this is a one of a kind um Iveth paints them and then we have them transferred from a painting onto a metal sun all right So I'm going to get a little dab of glue, dab up here. I'm going to use a mounting square. Let's get these on here. All right. Now, notice that I didn't put the square on the side over here because this side is going to hang off over here and there's nothing to attach it to. All right. So, y'all, all I'm doing is running that pipe cleaner through the back and tying it off. I'm using a 14 inch oval. All right, so I'm gonna start with this fun little plant. So I'm gonna use this green to start just building out and making a shape for our wreath. I'm literally just gonna start here and we're gonna work our way around. So now that we've started building up and around, let's make sure we keep that flow going here. All right. Y'all, next I'm gonna use one of these pink fillers. All right. Now look, we're not gonna just take this like that and throw it on the wreath. Y'all, we gotta make them pretty first. So take them and spread them out as much as you can. Right, like you paid for all this flour. Let's make sure we get as much of it in there as possible. All right, so now we're just gonna start filling in with the pink flower. All right, so we built that one down and now we're just gonna start building up with the curve. Y'all, we do have two of these bushes, so. I'm doing a mixture of pink and purple together to try to play on both those colors. So just like that first greenery, y'all, we're gonna go in there and add this purple in all different directions and make it kind of fun and wispy. Uh, you can go to learnfromdamon.com and you'll see every class that we offer right there.
All right, so we've got our easy bow maker. Let's give ourselves about a 12 inch tail. And go about, I don't know, six and a half inches. That turned into seven. All right. All right. get our center loop we need a pipe cleaner to make this house a bow all right y'all I'm gonna add my bow right down here All right, so I'm just gonna start putting this flower and filling in just a little bit. Y'all, I think I wanna use a little bit of this one. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this stem And it's wired, so we're gonna take that wire and we're gonna curl it around our fingers. Now look, it's a little smaller, wispy, fun plant that we can add. And this is gonna give it a lot of really cool, wispy texture. Look how that just added a whole nother layer of cuteness on here. So I'm going to add a few more of these. Let's make, let's make one more little bow to add towards the top. Y'all know we have a tiny house to build, right? So we are all working together on that goal.
All right, so I want to bring a little bit of this ribbon up to the top. So I'm just doing a little smaller version of the bow right up here. Y'all, you could easily take a little bit of ribbon and go between these two pieces if you want to bring them together. So all you do is take a piece and you can either take a pipe cleaner and tie it off. Then you can take this and work it into your grapevine. We're basically making a fake double bow. Y'all, now we can just have this one piece that goes from the top bow right down into the bottom bow to help bring the whole piece together. Y'all, that kind of helps tie it together a little bit more. Bye, y'all.